Thank you everybody for coming out to Hospital Pavilion this afternoon for a great day in the history of Cal basketball. He played in the league for nine years, won two NBA championships, was an assistant coach in the league for six years. Mark, welcome to the family. We're excited to have you. And go Bears. Dumping it down to the Mad Dog. Madsen. Start off by just saying thank you, Chancellor, to, to yourself and, and Jim to you for the belief and for the opportunity to lead Cal men's basketball. Let's go! Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's talk about this. The energy is a lot better. JT, my challenge to you is let's mix in some attacks to the glass. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, your shot looks great, but but now let's put some pressure on him. Just mix it up, just mix it up. When did I fall in love with basketball? Why do I love the sport? My dad and I uh, would go out back and play basketball almost every night. I, I still remember the day when he took me out there and he had the basketball and he said, let's play catch. I, I don't know how old I was, maybe two, maybe four, and he just threw it to me. I was nervous. I caught the ball, but I threw it back to him. And so that's kind of my introduction to him. And that's how I started falling in love with the sport. Hey, your, your catch high, keep high is elite. Your catch high and shoot is one of the best I've ever seen. Serious. Do we as coaches do a good enough job teaching and, and finding out how each individual player learns to be able to communicate the game plan? That's a huge part of coaching. You know, the easy part, one of the easier parts is figuring out the coverages you're gonna be in and how you're gonna attack the other team. One of the hardest parts is getting every player in the locker room to understand that, to execute that, and to buy into that. Let's bring the energy, let's bring the effort. Let's go, every board, every loose ball is ours, let's go. Go on three, one, two, three, go. Oh. We have a lot of players that, that really have that great leadership. We're not a team that has one individual leader. We're, we're a collective and, and we fight together. Defense, both ends, going box out, here we go. I like it. We need to stop. We need, all we need is to stop, goal. Blue huddle up, goal huddle up. We didn't play defense, we didn't have the energy, and, and, and we got smacked, we got smacked. Okay. Now we got to turn it up. Now we got to turn this thing up. Yes, Good job. Good job. He's a really great leader. Really hands-on approach to the game. He teaches us a lot. But one thing that he's always like uh, putting emphasis on is just like really like small things, uh, like fundamental things, like when it comes to like, you know, uh, footwork, getting open, you know, making passes. Let's see if he can make that pass from all the way out here. Out and up, Cone, you're playing cat and mouse up in this area. He has that championship pedigree. I mean, y'all know his story, two rings at the Lakers, his crazy dance, but uh, he's a real genuine guy. Um, he was honest, I love the dude. Um, he comes with enthusiasm, energy every day. How hard he works for us is building us on and off the court as young men. JT, you got me? You got to be ready to clamp. You got to be ready to clamp. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, JT, I'm good too, man. I'm good too. <laughs> create a family atmosphere, create honest communication um, within the team from coaches to players, from players to coaches. And so it's a competitive atmosphere. We have competition in every position. I, I tell the whole team, every single person is going to help this team win. Even if you never play a minute in a game, be ready because your name probably is going to be called this year. Yeah, and when your name is called, be ready. Bring it in. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Family on three. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Good job.